Family, friends, and folks at IPFW are reacting to the news of Zachary McKee's death. He died Sunday near Chicago when he fell on an electrified train rail and was electrocuted. News Channel 15's Megan Royce caught up with his sister today and school officials, and so what did they have to say about Zach? Well, Mark and Heather, people who knew him and were close to him say they still can't believe he's gone. He was just a couple of weeks away from graduation. People are certainly missing him. Uh, a great deal. IPFW Vice Chancellor of Student Affairs George McClellan says 27 year old Zachary McKee from ASEAN was involved on campus. He was majoring in political science and Spanish. Zach was involved in our student government. He was a member of our student judicial court and uh, really well liked there and well respected there. Zach's sister Megan Shant says, quote, he had plans to walk in the graduation ceremony at IPFW in just a couple of weeks. It would have been an amazing accomplishment for him. Since his death, McClellan says several students who knew him are working with counselors to overcome the grief. And that's healthy and normal. And while we're obviously not glad for the occasion, uh, we're glad for the fact that our students are asking for help. Shan says he was a loving and caring man. Quote, he loved to shoot guns with my dad and brother. Zach was pretty good at it, too. He loved politics. Zach's dream job was to become a lawyer or senator. McClellan says IPFW student government and the university have plans to honor Zach in all of his accomplishments. The university is uh, seeking an appropriate way to honor Zach's time with us, and, and I think we'll have news about that shortly. McClellan says several people at the university already have plans to attend Zach's funeral. And just for information, his family tells me that they haven't set a time and date yet. Okay, thank you, Megan.